We just finished our first match here in Cagayan de Oro City and we have our main match at hand. Two teams are fighting for a sure spot in the semi-finals. One team is looking to bounce back after a disappointing loss and one team is looking to continue their winning streak. We welcome everyone back to our continuing coverage of the All-Filipino Conference of the PVL here inside the Aquilino Q. Pimentel Jr. International Convention Center. Earlier, the Akari Chargers won in three straight sets against the Jerk Lord Defenders. And now, the PLDT High Speed Headers will go up against the Cream Line Pool Smashers. Thank you for watching us on One Sports Plus and the Filipinas Live app. My name is Neil Flores alongside Ayel Estranero. Ayel, we know that this will be a very crucial match for PLDT and the Cream Line Pool Smashers because both of them, again, as I said a while ago, are looking to book their sure slot in the Final Four. Oh, exactly. You mentioned it earlier. This is a big game. First, because a cream line has the same goal here. They would want to stay undefeated. They would want to win in today's game. But for the PLDT High Speed Heaters, they would want to bounce back today as they lost against the Charitigo crossovers in their previous game. As we take a look at the standings, again, cream line still clean slate for them. 6-0, Cheritigo, Chocomucho, Signal, PLDT are in the upper half of the standings. Petrogas, F2, Akari earlier won against the Jerfloor Defenders are in the middle of the standings. Next led, Farm Fresh Galleries and Jerfloor are in the bottom of the standings. And we see that bottleneck in the upper half of our bracket. There is no sure slot yet. A lot of volleyball needs to be played. And we know that this will be an exclusive matchup on your screen. The rookie in Savannah <laughs> Davidson will square off with the veteran in uh, Tots Carlo. But before we dive in uh, to the game, let's talk about the PLDT High Speed Hitters first. They are a star-studded team. A lot of heavy attackers, a lot of high-speed attackers. Kaya nga sila tinawag na high-speed hitters. But if there is one mainstay na kailangan natin pag-usapan, it's really their defensive anchor, the star in uh, Kat Arag. Uh, Kat Arado, Iligan Pride. And we know that pag-defense ang pinag-uusapan, she will always show the way for the high speed hitters. Uh, exactly. PLDT has already proven their system. And much is expected from this veteran libero, Kat Arado. But she continues to impress us with her consistent passing and steady digging. 65% uh, efficiency in their game against... Uh, Cherry Tigo crossovers. Uh, she is the anchor of PLDT's floor defense, so she will need to really show up big today as they are playing against the number one spiking team in the Cream Line Tool Smashers. The teams have been trying to avoid Kat Arado <laughs> on the receiving end, but she is still in that number two position when you talk about the digging department. So let's see if Marami siyang makukuhang bola ngayon against the Cream Line Pool Smashers. And uh, we talked about the defensive side of things dito for PLDT. Let's head on over to one of the most underrated low-key attackers in uh, the PLDT side. Their star in a million in Erica Santos. 
Exactly, Erica Santos. Her improvement allowed her to be a mainstay in the starting six of the PLDT High Speed Hitters. This conference, she has grown to be a very deadly opposite attacker with her leaping ability and strength. She's currently second in spiking next to Michelle Gumabal. So Erica's explosiveness will be crucial for the offense of PLDT in today's game. Uh, Erica Santos, a feisty player at that. Very excited in taking on uh, the number one team currently in uh, the Creamline Crew Smasher. So the PLDT High Speed Hitters will be banking on her services to score a lot, a lot of points so that they can uh, get another win here in the preliminary round. Now, let's talk about the highly favored team in the Creamline Crew Smashers, the elephant in the room. Alam naman natin that Gia Morado de Guzman is currently in Japan, but for the Creamline fans, they're still very happy kasi parang wala naman nagbago. 6-0, a very dominant uh, Creamline team, and they are led by their setter in Kyle Negrito. The ball distribution has been very impressive for that woman on your screen. And she's also one of those offensive setters that is uh, very good in serving and yung mga one-two play then. Oh, exactly. You've mentioned it already. A lot is expected of Kyle Negrito with the absence of Gia de Guzman. But she has been excellent in terms of playmaking, putting the Creamline Cool Smashers in 6 you know, a very clean confidence so far for the Cool Smashers. Her setting distribution allowed CCS to actually dominate the after logistics in their previous game. 20 excellent sets and also contributing in the scoring department with 7 points so far. Cal Negrito has allowed her spikers to shine this confidence. She has established her own connection with her attackers. In their previous game, uh, the middle blockers only had single-digit performance but today, Kyle Negrito will try to actually add on to the production of the middle so they, they could notch win number seven and potentially book a, a sure slot into the semifinals of the conference. But she will be getting a lot of support, not only from the defensive anchors of their team, but also with the offensive options. Nila. And one of their primary options would always be Gemma Galanza. We know that the second stringers of Dreamline are always ready to replace any position. But she yung naging staple talaga sa starting unit. Madalang palitan ang isang Gemma Galanza because she has proven to be the most stable player on the floor for the Cool Smashers. No, exactly. She consistently proves to be a vital asset for the Cool Smashers. A lethal force in offense with her explosiveness and volleyball IQ. But she's not just all offense as you mentioned because she's also dependable in the floor defense. 11 points for her in their previous game and 6 excellent receptions. So an all-around player who continues to display her athleticism here is Gemma Galanza. And what's good about Gemma Galanza is that she is a able to recover quickly in their previous game. She had a couple of bumps on the road in terms of reception, but she quickly recovered and had an 11-point production against the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Earlier, we featured the pride of Cagayan de Oro in uh, Erika Agas, but now we want to feature Iligan's pride in Cat Arado as she shares her feelings of playing back on court in this Heart for Home feature. Starting the middle Lagi kami sa CDO nung high school ako. Doon talaga yung parang first tournament ko. Ito nga nakakaloka yung kwento kasi nga ayaw ko tanggapin ng coach ko nung high school. Kasi nga super liit ko, tapos hindi nila alam kung saan ako ipupwesto. Pero tinry nila akong i-training ng libero, tinraining din nila ako as a setter. Tapos nung fourth year high school ako, ginawa kong spiker. Pagdating ng palarong pambansa nung last playing year ko, tsaka ako kinonvert na ng libero para ma-recruit ako sa UE. Actually, yung nag-iisip ko pala ngayon para naiyak ako kasi alam kong nandun sila, as in nandun talaga sila sa venue na nanonood sa akin. Yung mga pinsan ko talaga, sila talaga nag-introduce sa akin ng volleyball, sila nagturo sa akin, sobrang athletic na mga pinsan ko. Tapos yung mga titos, titas ko, talagang very supportive sila. Noong una, medyo ano pa sila, in doubt pa sila kasi nga only girl ako. Sa 13 naming magpipinsan, ako na yung babae. 
strict sila sa akin. Buti na lang talaga na gain ko yung trust nila na payagan ako mag-Manila. Until now, pag umuwi ako, lagi nila ako sinasabi, buti na lang, pinayagan ka namin. Kung hindi, wala kaming pinsan na ano, naglalaro na nakikita sa TV. So, gusto ko naman na makita nila ako in person kung paano ko pinaghirapan yung kung anong meron sa akin ngayon. Tsaka kung, kung gano'n ako ka-inspired pag nanonood sila, kung gano'n ako ka-motivated pag nanonood sila, gano'n ako tinitreasure kung ano yung tinuro nila sa akin. And uh, that's Eligan's pride, Kat Arado. Uh, a story of perseverance. And I'm pretty sure this game is very special for Kat Arado. As, uh, she has her family and her inspiration in the crowd right now watching her live. I'm sure she's very emotional right now, but we wish her the best of luck. And uh, since the, the support is all out here in the venue, we also want to include our active volleyball fans online for our Filipinas Live uh, poll question. Which setter will make the most strategic plays? Will it be Rey de Makulangan, the low-key setter with a lot of combination plays? Or with, will it be the fast-paced sets of Kyle Negrita? Ne Negrito, rather. Don't forget to include the hashtag, hashtag BBL2023. And you might just see your tweets on the broadcast. And I think we're ready to go. I'm sure you're ready, Ayel. Ako, I can't wait to start this game. We'll turn it over to our courtside announcer for the call-out of our starting lineup. Presenting our national officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Fernando Velarde. Second referee, Mr. Alex Adeva. Let's call on our starting lineup from our PLDT Home Fiber High Speed Hitters. Let's begin with their team captain. She wears jersey number three, Mika Irene Reyes. At number five, Savannah Dawn Davison. Wearing jersey number 10, Erica May Santos. At number 12, Rhea Katrina Dimaculangan. Number 13, Del Palomata. At number 15, Honey Royce Tubino. Starting libero is number 8, Kathleen Faith Arado. And coach, Mr. Raul Benson Ricafort. Presenting our cream line, Cruz Nasser. Let's begin with their team captain. She wear jersey number two, Alisa Valdez. At number one, Kyle Angela Negrito. Wearing jersey number five, Risa Sato. At number six, Jeanette Panaga. Wearing jersey number seven, Michelle Teresa Dumabao. And number 23, Jessica Margaret Galanza. Starting libero is number 8, Jorella May Desus. Head coach, Mr. Sherwin Meneses. This match is under the supervision and regulation of the games and amusement. Here are your starters. I start a new way to watch the PVL via the Filipinas Live app. For Filipinos everywhere, download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. Santos, uh, Reyes, Tubino, Davison, Palomata, Dimaculangan, and Arado will be the starting lineup for the PLDT High Speed Hitters and for the Creamline Pool Smashers. There will be a pleasant change in the starting unit. We see Eliza Valdez back in her outside possession role alongside Gumabao, Panaga, Galanza, Sato, Negrito, and their libero, Ella de Jesus. 
Uh, so we're seeing uh, core lineups here for both teams. Both teams with established core, with established system. Uh, so uh, right now, execution is going to be very important for both teams. Makulangan goes to Lee Carreras on that slide attack. First point will go to the high speed hitters. Now, very early activation there in the middle for Rhea de Makulangan going to uh, Mika Reyes. We know there are big implications mm -hmm. in this matchup. PLDT still has a good win loss card, only one loss. Uh, exactly, but uh, all the games will be crucial as only four teams will move forward to the semifinals. And there's a very crowded standing right yeah. now with Cheritigo, with Chocomucho, with Signal, with uh, PLDT, and even Petrogas. Uh, this time, uh, Tombino with its service ace. Perfect placement there, just uh, right on the line. Let me correct myself. PLDT is actually. Uh, Currently with a 5 and 2 win loss card. Yeah, 5 and 2 win loss card. And again, Green Lion is still undefeated here in our preliminary round. Gumaba will get the first point of the Green Lion Coat Smashers to the delight <laughs> of uh, the Cagayan de Oro crowd. And you know, uh, Michelle Gumaba has been a spectacular. Uh, this conference uh, being that the go-to girl of Cal Negrito. Gwen Magalanza will serve it up. That will probably be one of their strategies to target Savannah Davison on the receiving end. Thanks Kanaga with a good block there. Davison will push that ball over. Erika Santos. Liza Valdez from the left turn. And she gets a check ball off the hands of Roy Tubino. And Liza Valdez earlier will cross court. Guarded by Kat Arado. Switching angles this time. Tubino not ready for the uh, spin attack of Eliza Valdez. Score is now uh, two points apiece for the high speed hitters and the cool smashers. Better pass from Davison there. Jesus will set up Gumabao. Ball still alive. Davison will hit it above the double block. And she will get a point for the high speed hitters. Oh, Davison there taking advantage of that lipping ability. Attacking on top of uh, Michelle Gumabao and uh, Pang Spanaga. The two great blockers also on the side of the Cream Line Tool Smashers. Reyes will be on deck to serve. Kyle Negrito will go to Eliza Valdez. And you talked about this earlier, Neil. The speed of the setting, the speed of the offense of the Cream Line Cool Smashers will be one of their advantage in this game as uh, Valdez earlier in that sequence, only one blocker for her. You already mentioned that, that even without Gia de Guzman here in the starting lineup, fast-paced din kasi exactly. itong si Kyle Negrito. So they're pretty much still in system. It wasn't a surprise that they were racking up wins here and there. Exactly. Continuity is working for the Cream Line Cool Smashers, but uh, this time, a long attack from Michelle Gumaba, an attack error, gives a chance here for the PLDT high-speed hitters. One of the aspects uh, in the game of PLDT would really be their passing. Sometimes, iwas na iwas kay Kat Arado yung bola. The outside hitters need to step up exactly. and uh, get that ball papunta sa side ni Rea de Makulangan. That was their problem in that loss against the crossovers. And that's gonna be very important because they have uh, great medals in Mika Reyes and Talomata. Oof, still alive. Oh. <laughs> It's defense against defense between these two teams. Kyla Tienza matching up to the skills of Kat Arado. Sorry, miss it though for Erika Santos. Oh, but a lot of great exchanges. Yeah. The floor defense really of both teams. Great hustle, great effort. And you know, we're expecting a lot of uh, the kind of uh, rallies here in this game. This is how it should be played. Uh, this is the standard exactly. when you talk about uh, the PVL. High level of volleyball and competition. 
Dumakulangan uh, with a one-two play. Uh, Dumakulangan there, surprising the floor defense of the Creamline Cool Smashers. Great decision, no one there on the side of the Cool Smashers. Usually, ginagawa niya dyan, medyo late na eh. But now, early on, she wants to be very aggressive to fool the blockers of the Cool Smashers. Misconnection there between uh, Kyle Negrito and uh, Risa Sato on that Be Quick play. And we've talked about this. This is a one uh, department that is lacking on their side, the activation of the middles. And uh, we're seeing Negrito also, the effort to activate the middles in the start of the set. That was a better set from Kyle Negrito, but it was a total flat ball exactly. from uh, Risa Sato. Now, the lead is at three points for the high-speed hitters. Kyle Negrito will go to Eliza Valdez. Checked at the net by Del Palomata. Valdez will try again. A classic cross-court attack. The Eliza of Valdez avoiding the blockers there. Got Arado trying to extend to defend. But uh, too much power in that attack. Great serve there from Valdez. Tubino will attack. This time it's Gemma Galanza forced to give up a free ball. Dimakulangan will go to the left pin. Royce Tobino gets it to go. Uh, Tobino there, just uh, powering through the blockers. Oh, we're having great exchanges so far. Sense the laser focus <laughs> of all the players on the floor right now. Gemma Galanza powering through the double block of PLDT. Oh, that uh, fast, low set of uh, Kyle Negrito to Gemma Galanza. Gemma Galanza with the advantage of that uh, loose block of uh, Demakulangan. We've talked about Gemma Galanza also in the pregame, how uh, lethal of a spiker attacker she is. That was a good block for Kyle Negrito. It hit her face, pero pumalik yung bola. And now she gets a kill block against Royce Dubino. A perfect marking and perfect timing for Kyle Negrito there. First referee making sure. And Tubino also apologizing <laughs> to Kyle Negrito. Worth it. Well, the huwa ng cream line yung point na yon. Isa Sato will get us going for this next rally. Royce Tobino once again. Let's check that the net. Three ball for the cream line pool smashers. Jamagalanza. It's dug by Kat Arado. Out of system play for cream line. Tight set there. Ball is still alive. Kyle Negrito setting that ball to Eliza Valdez. Royce Tobino off that cross court. There will be a violation called on Creamline. Uh, on that touch off, called there. This is going to be a long one, Ayel. <laughs> <laughs> sulit na sulit yung pagbiyahe ng mga tao here in our venue. A beautiful venue. Kyle Negrito is uh, being checked by their PT, making sure her left eye is okay. We know that Royce Tubino is a powerful hitter. So yung direct contact ng bola papunta dun sa left eye okay. na yun, it can actually uh, affect her vision. Hopefully not. But well, it looks she like has she's been good to go. Scratching her, her eye since that happened. 
This is a big game for Cream Line, so for sure she will go all out. Two point lead for the high speed hitters. It's a nine serving seven here in the first frame. High pass from Gemma Galanza. Oh, great effort there by Negrito to extend her hands. Uh, an overreaching violation called on Nicareas here. Pag front line yung center, that would usually be the strategy pag dumikit sa net. Uunahan lang nilang hawakan yung bola <laughs> so that they could force that violation on the opponent. And you know, sometimes the middle, hindi rin nila napipigilan eh, especially when it's uh, almost an overpass. That will be a service ace for Kyle Negrito. Kyle Negrito also one of the lethal servers here on the side of the Team Line Post Masters with some help there from the net. We were mentioning that she is also one of the hard servers of the Cool Smashers. That deadly float. <laughs> Getting PLDT out of system. Uh, defense holding up for the Cool Smashers. Michelle Gumabao from the right. We're in the speed of the sets of Akal Negrito. Starting to create gaps in between the blocks of the PLDT high speed hitters. But uh, this time Gumabao powering through the hands of Erika Santos. This is one of the best conferences for Michelle Gumaba. When you exactly. take a look at the statistics, you know na mahirap siyang palitan <laughs> in that opposite hitter position. Todd Carlos will start from the bench. Also a lethal weapon for the Cool Smashers. For PLDT, they have all the weapons in their arsenal. It's about uh, utilizing it the best way that you can. Gemma Galanta will try to hit a sharp cross court, but to no avail. She had the right thing in mind, trying to avoid Mika Reyes there. Oh, but uh, right now, it's really a close fight in the start of the first set. Uh, both teams with a great floor defense. Another tight pass from the Cool Smashers, but it will be a lucky point. As uh, no high-speed hitter got that first touch. No, Mika Reyes uh, hesitated this time because uh, Kyle Negrito also tried to extend her hands in that overpass. Timokolangan will choose Erika Santos. And that windmill swing. Always a sight to see. Exactly, with an explosive approach, a higher this higher reach this time, going long, Erika Santos. You can also take a look at that wrist action, exactly. eh, no? Ang ganda nung form. In the past few weeks, wala siya dun sa top 10, but right now she is number 2 in, in terms of attacking efficiency exactly. next to Michelle Gumabao. A really high uh, percentage there for Erika Santos. Negrito with that zero tempo quick attack to Panaga. And Negrito connects with uh, Panaga. Uh, this is what uh, Dreamline Coast Masters uh, needs in today's game the activation in the middles. That's classic Dreamline, no? Yung tempo nila sa gitna. Paangat pa lang yung Under blocker the... ng PLDT. Napalo na bola. yung attacker. Exactly. Diba kulangan? We'll choose Davison. Not the best of sets for her, though. But she will still score off that uh, tight pass of Creamline. Uh, Davison here a bit quiet in the start of the set, but uh, she mentioned to take advantage of the tight set. Another deadlock at 12. Ooh. Miscommunication there on the combination play. Davison will hit from the left. And this is also the advantage of PLDT. Their wing attackers are really high leapers. Uh, but uh, PLDT gets to the first technical timeout.
experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block live in high definition and on demand anytime, anywhere, and on any device via Filipinas Live app for only 149 pesos. Download and subscribe now. Still here inside uh, the Aquilino Q Pimentel Junior International Convention Center in Cagayan de Oro City. For our PBL on tour, a while ago we had our first offering of the day. Akari again winning in three sets. And now it is the Cream Line Pool Smashers going up against uh, the high speed hitters of PLDT. Dimakolangan will go to that quick attack. What a good! Dig from Kaya La Atienza. Oh, and uh, Michelle Gomavo there with the finish. Uh, even with blockers or without blockers, Michelle Gomavo really knows how to score a point. Right now, yung two coaches natin, no? they're playing chess. <laughs> they're putting in early substitutions. They're switching liberos. And, and they're uh, very active also on the sidelines. Everybody has uh, their targets. Siyempre, dun sa number one seeded team <laughs> in the Cool Smashers. One point lead for PLDP Savannah Davison on the service line. Michelle Gumagal. Another out of the system attack there for Michelle Gumabao. But uh, no worries, she said. Yeah. And, Another powerful attack. And kadalasan, Noel, it's always Gemma Galanza and Sots Carlos who gets these sets sa back row. But it's also nice to see Michelle <laughs> Gumabao asking for the ball. Excellent dig there from Eliza Valdez. But Creamline will be forced to give a free ball. Ooh, net violation will be called. Oh, and uh, Rhea Di Makulangan. A missed opportunity there. It was actually a great set. Only one blocker for Tubino. So, but uh, Rhea Di Makulangan uh, telling the coaching staff not to challenge anymore. Baka sayang eh. There was a chance talaga na dumikit siya exactly. dun sa Especially net. Especially that we saw the net move. Imaholangan will choose Davison from the back. Davison finally heating up here in the first set. And that was a perfect combination play there. Only one blocker for Davison in the back row. Jesse De Leon will replace Del Palomata on the service line. Each team has their own advantages at some point. Itong PLDT, it would be the height and reach of Del Palomata. So, Rhea de Makulangan has to milk the middle blockers of PLDT. Dito naman sa side uh, ng uh, cream line. They're backing on the speed. Another chance for PLDT to attack. Mika Reyes, dug by Eliza Valdez. One to play from Kyle Negrito. A great reaction there by Tobino trying to extend her hands and uh, defend that one to play but uh, no support on the side of the PLDP high speed hitters that is far from over <laughs> 16 serving 15 Royce Tubino <gasps> gets stopped by the single block of Kyle Negrito Oh, Kyle Negrito close the perfect angle of Tobino there. Tobino had a lot of space in the cross court attack. That's one of the best feelings in the world, no? <laughs> Yung single I agree. block coverage as the setter. <laughs> no, but uh, Tobino is one of the veteran players of PLDT. She knows what to do, she knows how to make up for those errors this time, just going slow. Going for the tip and it works for her. Three attackers now in the front line for the high speed hitters. Mika Reyes, Royce Tubino, and Erika Santos. Let's see if they can equalize in this next play. Gemma Galanza from the middle. 
<laughs> he squeezes that ball through the defense of the high-speed hitters. And you know, PLDT knew that it was gonna go to Gemma Galanza. Mika Reyes jumping with Tobino there, but the gap allowed Gemma Galanza to still score a point. Definitely a loose block on the side of the high-speed hitters. Makulangan will go to Tobino again. Galanza from the left. <laughs> that is just sheer power, Ayel. <laughs> Naka-establish yung double block ng PLDT most of the time. Pero pumapasok yung bola because of the amount of power of Gemma Galanza. And it's not easy when you have Mika Reyes also in front of you. But just classic Gemma Galanza. PLDT needs to get a one good stop. And they get that via the service error of Kyle Negrito. And they've been trying to target the Davison in this game. Davison is now in front row. Good sign and, uh, for uh, PLDT. Exactly, and uh, I was gonna say, uh, really strong front row here as they also have Vicarez and Santos on the front line. The toss was really low. The contact was also low. Now, this is a three-point lead for the Cool Smashers. That is inside, says the Lions judge, but there will be a sure challenge <laughs> on the side of the high-speed hitters. We didn't see that from our angle. Oh, and uh, this can be a crucial challenge on the side of uh, the PLDT high speed hitters as the uh, are already gaining that momentum in this end stretch of the set. Kyle Negrito still icing that left eye. So far, so good for the Cream Line Crew Smashers. They're coming off a dominant win in uh, their previous game. And uh, for the high-speed hitters, they do want to bounce back. They were in uh, total control the first set against Cherry Tigo. And uh, that is clearly outside. That will be a successful challenge for Coach Ral Dricafort. Good decision there for the high-speed hitters. Uh, Del Palomata will fortify the net defense of PLDT in this rotation. Kumbaga, kanya-kanyang rules na to eh. Del Palomata has to get the block points. Davison and Erika Santos has to score on the offensive end. And that's also going to be a great challenge as uh, the Cream Line will Smashers has Eliza Valdez, Michelle Gumabao, and Pangs Panaga in their front row right now. Uh, both uh, teams with a complete front row offensively. It's a three-on-three -three affair for these two teams. It is a three-point ball game. 17 to 20, but I believe the point will be awarded to the high-speed hitters. So we're just waiting on our technical table to finalize and update our score here in the first set. And you can watch us uh, live on One Sports Plus and the Filipinas live app, Neil Flores, po, alongside uh, Ayala Estranero. As we give you the action here inside the Aquilino Q. Pimentel Jr. International Convention Center. We have uh, more cities to visit. <laughs> I know we will be visiting Iloilo this coming December. So, mga, so sa mga taga Iloilo po dyan, magkita kita tayo December 2 if I'm not mistaken. But for now, we are still enjoying our stay here in uh, Cagayan de Oro City. And loving the energy of the fans and loving uh, the scenery here, the food, the people. Oh, definitely the crowd has been really great since the start of uh, the games today. Oh, tight set. Lumampas na rin talaga dun sa antenna. There was nothing Eliza Valdez could do. Uh, Negrito and Valdez not connecting in that uh, previous sequence. 
right now. It's just a one-point game. We know that she has already established her connection during training, but sometimes there are inconsistencies. When you talk about the setting of Kyle Negrito, and uh, now PLDT has erased that three-point lead of the Cool Smashers. We are now tied at 20 all. And Nikki Carreas has been uh, consistent in that service line so far. Kumakulangan will choose Davison. Oh! <laughs> and a turnaround by the high-speed hitters will give them a slim one-point lead. And uh, Dimakulangan also just playing simple here, relying a lot on the wing attackers. And uh, with that, Coach Sherwin calls the timeout. Angat ang laban sa pinakabagong sports app na Pilipinas Live. Mapapanood ang PBA Season 48 live in high definition and on demand on any device available worldwide. Download and register now for free. Nicarea still on deck to serve for the high-speed hitters. Taking care of that one-point lead. They can't afford to make any mistakes here on out. Ooh. Low set from uh, Negrito. PLDT stopped in the middle of the rally. They were asking for a four touches violation on the side of Creamline. Dun sa hit ni Michelle Gumabao. Exactly, and it, uh, the domino effect there. The blockers late in uh, blocking Liza Valdez. Oh, painful error there on the side. Painful misjudgment on the side of the PLDT high speed hitters. You cannot stop until marinig mo yung whistle, whistle. ng first referee. Makolangan still going to the left side. No go for Savannah Davison. Michelle Gumabao. Free ball for the Cool Smashers. Kyle Negrito will set up MG. But Pat Arado was there for the dig. Eliza Valdez winning that joust against Erica Santos. Eliza Valdez really timed the jump well, uh, waiting for the ball in last second, winning the joust against uh, Erica Santos. He had a lot of deadlocks, lead changes here in the, the first set. And we're just getting started. Cap Arado was there for the coverage. <laughs> Erika oh. Santos unfazed by the defense of the Cool Smashers. You can see the confidence of mm. Rhea de Maculanga exactly. in setting Erika Santos. On the second attempt, but this time successful going cross court. And why not go to her? She's the most efficient attacker on the side of the PLDT high speed hitters. Negrito will go back to Eliza Valdez. Great save from Redi Makulangan, but uh, that's correct. Four touches. It happened so fast, Nini Lana Pansin yung exactly. unang touch. Failed to get that ball over on the third. And some crucial moments here. Kolangan will go to Davison. He gets blocked. She will try again. Cut shot. Gemma Galanza from the back. Pat Arado will continue to give the ball to Davison. But that ball is outside. And uh, Davison trying to look for that but time as if he was uh, being marked on the down the line angle. 
And the PLDT here will call a timeout. The first ever NBA in-season tournament is here. Watch all 30 teams battle it out for the NBA Cup from November 4 to December 9, only on NBA TV Philippines. One sports and Filipinas live. Hashtag NBA on Signal. Hashtag always a fan. Team line is at a set point. Coach Rald is asking for his players to to get a perfect pass first. Ooh. That was what uh, Davison was trying to do in the previous sequence, so, but no risk action. No, but this time a better execution for her, a sharp cross-court attack, avoiding the blockers. And no one there on the side of the two smashers. Amazing elevation. No pressure whatsoever. Exactly. Eliza Valdez against a triple block. Cat Arado was there. Eliza Valdez again gets checked. A great coverage. Free ball for PLDT. One to play. Doesn't work for the Makulangan. Ball is still alive. Oh! Oh! Costly missed you on the side of the high speed hitters will give that first set to the cream line cool smashers. Well, really two crucial errors in this end stretch of the game. It's gonna be painful for the PLDT high speed hitters, but cool smashers just staying consistent all throughout the first set. That's 25-23 in favor of the cream line cool smashers. Set number two when we return. Take a look at the scenes here in Cagayan de Oro City. Alam Wayel, I'm sure after all the volleyball games, uh, these players will also enjoy uh, maybe a tour around the city <laughs> and enjoy some activities okay. and enjoy the local food here. But uh, right now, it's the crowd who is enjoying uh, this game of uh, PLDT and the Creamline Pool Smashers. What a treat. <laughs> Creamline needed 34 minutes <laughs> in that first set to close out uh, PLDT 25-23. Napakadikit. It boiled down to the execution in that last rally. PLDT had all the chances to put it away, but that costly miscue uh, did the job for the Cool Smashers. Let's take a look at the set highlights. Ayala, what worked for both of these teams? And coming into set number two, what are the adjustments that they need to make? Well, definitely we're not surprised how surprised how tight that first set was. Both teams, again, established for established system. Great execution offensively. Really stable passing and digging for both teams. 
But again, it really boiled down to that uh, two crucial errors and misjudgment of uh, the PLDT high speed hitters. Uh, both uh, teams, both setters, great playmaking, and uh, really their offense has been uh, uh, great so far. As uh, we take a look at the numbers, uh, 15 attack points against the 13 of the PLDT. Uh, not a lot of uh, difference there, but uh, the blocking of a cream line has been very stable. A lot of uh, soft touches on their side. Two kill blocks, uh, both teams trying to challenge the reception of each other. One service ace apiece, even Creamline committing more error in nine against the seven of PLDT. We have uh, two tall middle blockers talking about the high speed hitters in Mika Reyes and Del Palomata. So uh, the zero points in the blocking department is something that uh, they have to improve on. The two blocks, the two kill blocks of the Cool Smashers came from Kyle Negrito, and now we see the gate attendance almost. 10,000 uh, people strong here in Cagayan de Oro City. Yeah, the tickets are sold out. And uh, kanina umaga pa lang, and, nakapila na yung mga tao. Exactly. And ang dami ding lumuwas from uh, the nearby provinces uh, to watch uh, the game here in Cagayan de Oro. So uh, we really appreciate the love and support. Creamline uh, had uh, more errors in set number one, nine compared to the seven of PLDT. And they are going to stick to this starting unit. Erika Santos uh, dug up by Negrito. Great save uh, from uh, Kat Arado. That's still good, <laughs> but Panaga will win that joust against Davison. And uh, we've seen a couple of jousts already, and it has been Creamline getting the point. Uh, so that's so one thing also that uh, the PLDT needs to look at. It will boil down to the smallest of details. Exactly. Paul didn't go over. But Babawi in Leon, they won't be challenging that call. They will be giving that point to the Cool Smashers. Oh, on second thought. <laughs> sure na. <laughs> they will challenge uh, that last play, a block touch challenge on the block of the Cool Smashers. It definitely hit the tape of the net, but uh, there are scenarios na tumatama pa rin naman dun sa kamay ng blockers bago lumalabas. No, but uh, for PLDT, they really need to start strong here. Because uh, so far, the Cream Line Cool Smashers has uh, brought that momentum they got in that end stretch of the first set. We know that uh, Cream Line has one of the biggest fan bases, not just in Manila, but also in the provinces. But looks like Malaki din. Yung dalang fan base <laughs> ng high speed hitters because of Kat Arado. Yung mga taga iligan, <laughs> bumiyahi pa papunta dito. So it's an even uh, playing field when you talk about the, the crowd's uh, chants the and the, the cheers. We're still waiting on this block touch challenge of the high speed hitters. It was an early challenge, actually. 1 0 pa lang yung score natin. And uh, it was an attack from Davison. Well, we also saw that uh, bit of the hesitation earlier from the coaching staff whether to call this challenge or not. Both teams just warming up on the sidelines. Making sure hindi mawala yung uh, flow nila. Kat Arado asking... Uh, her family for more support. There was a, a block touch based on that replay. So that will be a successful challenge for Coach Ra. The point will go to the high speed hitters. Buti na lang. Oh, <laughs> Ginawa na actually, lang. a good challenge for them. Because a while ago, Kat Arado was saying na wag na natin challenge because. Maagape. Exactly. 
And uh, again, there are only two challenges for both teams in every set. Liza Valdez gets checked by the double block of PLDT. Yun yung hinahanap natin ng set number one. He didn't register any kill blocks, but now they get their first defensive uh, block against the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Exactly. No gaps in the blocking of Erika Santos and Del Palomata. Erika Santos from the right. Michelle Gomabo from the right as well. Another kill block for the high speed hitters. That's the second block of this entire game. And again, they have a two point lead. Ganito rin yung nangyari nung first set, but uh, Cream Line has stole the momentum. Pero humabol ulit yung PLDT. You never know kung anong mangyayari. And for PLDT, uh, this is uh, what they need. They need to minimize their errors. And they need to communicate better as it was the miscues in the end stretch of that first set that really hurt them and allowed Cream Line to get the first set. Erika Santos, oh, what a sharp cross-court. That was a good hit from Erika Santos. <laughs> Naibalik ng Cool Smashers defenders. Exactly. Not ready. A great placement there, a cut shot, but a better action on the side of Negrito. A lucky point there. Gande, <laughs> sobrang ganda ng cut shot ni Erika Santos. Perfect chance ball for a transition play sana. High passing. Okay. They've been targeting Royce Tubino in their service, and uh, they've been successful so, so far. Uh, Tubino struggling to deliver that good first ball to Rhea Dimapulana. Kanina pa natin naikita na nagiba iba yung target ng, ng uh, cream line. Initially, it was Savannah Davison. Now it's Royce Tubino. Panaga with an excellent dig there. Eliza Valdez goes down the line and she scores. Now credit half that point to the great digging of Panaga in that uh, previous sequence. Libero like dig oh. from Pans Panaga. <laughs> yeah. Low pass there from the side of PLDT. And Davison has been checked so far in this game. Uh, uh, Sato and Gumabao teaming up to get the kill block. Uh, no coverage at the side of uh, the high-speed hitters. Defensive substitution here. Viola Ceballos, better receiver probably in this rotation uh, to help Kat Arado man the floor. As much as possible, pag meeting a target, Sometimes the uh, receivers would actually tell the target na liitan na lang yung space na kuhanin. Uh, but uh, this time, uh, uh, better uh, execution the side of the high-speed hitters. Uh, Erika Santos uh, using the hands of the blockers. She is matching up to her counterpart here. <laughs> Michelle Gumabao and Eliza Valdez. You can also feel yung IQ ni Erika Santos. Exactly, the variety of her attacks and angles. Del Palomata from the middle. Ball is still alive. Chance for PLDT. Atienza with an excellent dig. Eliza Valdez gets checked by Dimaculanga. Negrito will go back to Valdez. And uh, yes, she scores once again, and she gives uh, the Cream Line Two Smashers a three-point lead. Kyle Negrito going to Eliza Valdez once more and using the down-the-line angle to score that point. Uh, two defenders even was there for the PLDT. High set from Dimacolangan uh, to Palomata. Valdez will 
get that soft touch. Shago Mamba was in an awkward position already. Wasn't able to go for an approach. Exactly, but both teams, again, has been excellent in the floor defense. Now it's just a matter of who will get the point in the offense. Ceballos. Outside on her first attempt. No, but that was a great angle for Ceballos. That down the line attack, and no one was there. It's too much angle for her. Erika Santos, uh, excellent pass there. Fiola Ceballos will try again. And uh, this is why they need a good passing. This is why they need a better first ball. Because uh, Ria de Macolangan also, one of the better setters here in the league, uh, really knows how to distribute her setting. Let's see Ria de Macolangan. Uh, very simple when it comes to setting style. But uh, court sense is impeccable, exactly. really. Negrito will choose Gemma Galanza. Check ball will be called on uh, Rea de Macolangan. He will not contest that ball. But really, the explosiveness of Gemma Galanza allows her to shine in the, the offense department. Ceballos again with a power hit. Deflected by the double block. Tries again. Tight pass there. But net violation uh, will be called on uh, Cal Negrito. She tried to get that overreaching <laughs> violation again against she Mika tried Reyes. to run for that ball, going for that one-hand set. No, but scraped the net on her way down. Saka nauna na rin si Mika Reyes on the touch. So it is seven serving nine here in set number two. Gemma Galanza gets blocked in the middle. That's the third kill block of PLDT here. And the, this is a very classic, familiar player for the Streamline Coast Masters, but uh, PLDT came here prepared to blockers there. And no coverage on the side of the Coast Masters. That was uh, Mika Reyes leading the defense of PLDT. Only a one point ball game. Side attack from Pax Panaga is good to go. How oh, about a faster counter attack this time from the Cool Smashers? Panaga with a slight attack, only one blocker there. And you have uh, two attackers in the front row. Oh, I believe that uh, that will always be the best point of attack that slide and uh, the usual. Left pin. Exactly. You want to separate the blockers on the on uh, the other side. Oh, ho, ho, Michelle Gomabao just avoiding the hands of Iola Cipalios. But you know when uh, you have uh, the speed and the power, you're definitely hard to stop. You know, Michelle Gomabao fi finding that small gap. A three point lead for the Cool Smashers. Kat Arado will give that ball up to Ceballos. Salgumabao will score again from the right. Just unstoppable at this point. And uh, you know, the Creamline Cool Smashers is really just maximizing the great floor defense, giving justice to that. And you know, converting points right away. Biggest lead so far here in the set. Still a good pass from uh, Viola Ceballos. No, but it has been Erika Santos. who has been the spark on the side of uh, PLDT. Great reverse set there from Demaculang. And only one blocker for Erika Santos choosing down the line. 
Uh, Ella Diaz is also not in the right position to defend that. Continues to improve her attack efficiency. Another slide attack, single block coverage on the side of the high speed hitters. Savannah Davisal with a soft hit. Atienza will set up Galanza on the left. No coverage on the side of the high speed hitters. Another missed opportunity on their side as a cream line here takes uh, the technical timeout. Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. Welcome back. This is set number two of the matchup between uh, Cream Line and the PLDT high speed hitters. And uh, we have a virial here in the Cream Line co smashers and the PLDT high speed hitters. Uh, uh, warmly welcomed by uh, the people of uh, Cagayan de Oro. Both teams arrived uh, last Thursday and uh, they already had a couple of meet and greets and also a couple of fans waiting outside the venue outside the hotel really you know trying to get uh, uh, the pictures and signatures of their idols so we're so happy to bring uh, pvl and uh, you know with these four teams here in uh, cagayan de oro i'm sure you also enjoyed the <laughs> lunch and uh, the dinner last night <laughs> Gemma Galanza on deck to serve. Erika Santos will get that ball over. Michelle Gumabao. Santos once again, uh, but defended well by Kyle Negrito. Alexa Valdez on the adjustment. Ball is out. Uh, three point here for uh, the high speed hitters. Uh, and uh, this rotation was the rotation where they closed the gap earlier in the end stretch against the cream line cool smashers a strong rotation for pldt here nice about this uh, changing uh, tempo there outsmarting uh, the floor defense of the high speed hitters going for the power tip seeing the pole Uh, the speed of the cool smashers is uh, really working well on their end. Very effective on that right side. Kung titingnan natin, basic yung ginagawang play ni Rede Makulangan for Erika Santos. But she always tries her best to score a point immediately for the PLDT high-speed hitters para makuha nila yung break point. These break points are very important, especially when you're trailing by three points and uh, right now the net defense of uh, the high-speed hitters also working well for them they have improved in that department compared to how they perform in that first set shank pass there from uh, Eliza Valdez Risa Sato got in the way of Kyle Negrito for that second touch, and now, <laughs> kagaya lang ng first set. Dreamline uh, just leads by one point. Let's listen into this time.
Watch men's volleyball action this 2023 as the Spikers Turf Invitational Conference gets going every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday on One Sports, One Sports Plus, and Filipinas Live. Spikers Turf, where power meets passion. As expected. <laughs> it's a one-point <laughs> ball game again. <laughs> Another tight set here, but uh, Erika Santos uh, cuts their own momentum with that uh, service error. Kulangan will set up Del Palomar. Not a lot of touches pa dito sa middle blockers exactly. ng PLDT. It has been the left side wreaking havoc alongside Erika Santos. On the right side, yung elevation talaga ni Savannah Davis. And it makes it really easy for her to get exactly. those cut shots so in. Spike Rich allows her to choose her angles right. Going to the holes of the floor defense. Short slide there from Risa Sato. Ceballos will give up a drop ball. Oh, Ooh. no one home for the Cool Smashers. Um, they, they weren't able to go to their original positions. A bit of scrambling there, and uh, Michelle Gumaba was not aware that uh, Eliza Valdez was also still in the right pin. Coach Sherwin unhappy with that. Previous error. Oh, what a rejection from Del Palomata. Oh, perfect block for Del Palomata, extending those arms, really pressing those hands in. You know, no way that Eliza Valdez can get past to that block. Oh, more miscues on the side of the Cool Smashers. Viola Ceballos will go for that power hit. Savannah Davison from the back row, and the quick strike will give PLDT a two point lead here in set number two. And Davison has found her flow here in the second set. A lot of that power hits coming from her, this time from the back row. Double substitution. Mati Galanza, the sister of Gemma Galanza, will be the setter for the Cool Smashers. And Tots Carlos will be making her second appearance here. Kanina, limited lang talaga yung minutes. Let's see if ibababad siya ni Coach Sherwin. Good coverage there from Del Palomata. Chance for the Cool Smashers. Tots Carlos will get her first point. To the delight of the Cream Line fans here in the venue. I thought Scarlos, uh, another scoring machine for the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Uh, definitely, this uh, team has a very deep bench and a lot of weapons. Talking about Cream Line. Great dig there from Ella de Jesus. Galanza will hit it off the hands of the Makulangan. Erika Santos will give up this free ball. Galanza will choose Tots Carlos from the right side. And that is back to back points for the two smashers as they equalize here in set number two. It's 17 all. And you can't leave just one blocker in front of Tots Carlos. So he's going to hammer it in. It's the turn of Coach Rald. Namag palit din ang tao. Double sub there. Legacion uh, will be setting, and uh, Jules Samonte will be the opposite hitter in this rotation. Uh, both coaches want a complete front row here. Uh, but Eliza Valdez uh, gives a free point here with high speed hitters. Galanza successful in getting uh, that first pass. 
But Savannah Davis on an excellent dig. Good hustle by Mafe Galanza. And Pots Carlos gets rejected by Mika Reyes. Uh, this time, two blockers in front of Tots Carlos. She was still trying to go cross court. Uh, but uh, Mika Reyes was ready for that one. From zero blocks mm. to a lot of blocks. <laughs> and <laughs> a lot of soft set, touches also. Set, yeah. PLDT in the lead. Mafe will set up Tots Carlos again. You can block her once, <laughs> but you can block her twice. Uh, Tots Carlos asking for the set, the perfect set for her this time. Switching angles, going down the line. Now oh, Palomata not ready for that one. You also need to give credit to Mafe Galanza. Very steady as a second setter Great for the floor defense masters. so far. So Samonte will attack the defense. Galanza will answer back. But Kat Arado was there. Ju Samonte again. Oh! <laughs> Two high speed hitters went up for that game. It was almost a sure point for PLDT. But a missed timing there by both the players as well. Oh, went for an automatic three point for the Creamline Cool Smashers. Uh, right now is not the time to have some miscues for both teams. Uh, what a dig from Mafe Galanza. Soft touch from Todd Carlos. Kat Arada saw it coming, but she wasn't able to control it with one hand. And this is why Todd Carlos is difficult to defend. She has a lot of variety in her attacks. Great ball control with that off-speed attack. Arado was there, but was not able to control that with that one-hand dig. Palanza will set up her older sister. And Jutsa Monte this time scores her first point off a kill block. Another defensive stop for PLDT. A quality minutes there for Legacion and Samonte. A great substitution for Coach Ralph Ricafort. Gemma Galanza has been quiet here in this game. It has been Eliza Valdez and Michelle Gumabao leading the charge for PLDT. Erica Santos and Savannah Davison, as expected, also contributing big time. Also, it has been the wing attackers for both teams. Oh, no blocker in sight against Tams Panaga. Double substitution. Did their job well. Talking about streamline. Babalik ngayon si Carl Negrito and uh, Michelle Gumabao to try to wrap this second set up. Oh, but uh, really, this both teams with deep bench impact players, game changers. And pretty much why we are in a 20 to 21 mark right now. Heavy serve from Kyle Negrito. Oh! <laughs> so Erika Santos has uh, been playing simple also. Uh, not forcing her attacks, just putting the right amount of power and speed. Uh, getting the block touch. That's correct. She locks onto a target and yung restraint in holding back yung power. Exactly. That's also a skill that people develop here in the sport. <laughs> Nothing quiet about that hit from Gemma Galanza. She loves going to these combination plays from the middle. She's very comfortable in uh, those sets of Kyle Negrito. And earlier in the play, she's getting marked by two blockers, but this time it was not well read by the blockers of PLDT. Uh, perfect execution. Oh, and uh, this time uh, a rejection from Eliza Valdez against Erica Santos closing down on that down the line uh, area. That will force Coach Rao to call for another timeout.
some crucial moments here on the side of uh, the PLDT high speed hitters as uh, Creamline is just two points away and taking the set. PLDT hasn't settled down because uh, they've been here countless of times. <laughs> I mean, uh, they're all, they're always on the verge of winning, but yung mga smallest of details dun nagkakaroon ng mga lapses. Exactly. Shal Gumaba will hit from the right side as always. Savannah Davison. Nilpura Chanta na itong si Kyle Negrito as Michelle Gumaba gets their 24th point. That is a set point for the Cream Line Pool Smashers. Classic cross court attack there for Michelle Gumaba. Again, currently number one in spiking with a 44.10% efficiency. Erika Santos gets checked by the defense of Eliza Valdez. She will try again. Kyle Negrito was there. Another chance for PLDT to get break point. Erika Santos. Same result. Another chance ball. Pinakulangan will go to the left. Oh! oh. Well, and we've talked about the misuse of the PLDT, especially in the most crucial parts of the set. And uh, that miscue puts uh, Creamline here in 2 and 0. Oh. Untimely errors on the side of the PLDT high speed hitters. And uh, that set will end in favor of the Cream Line Pool Smashers. 25 23, 25 to 21. Uh, the Cream Line Pool Smashers up two sets to none.
Ayel, I'm sure you're also very excited after this. You'll get some free time <laughs> to enjoy the scenes and activities here in uh, Cagayana de Oro City. And uh, the players as well, they really deserve a short break. Yes. <laughs> a short break <laughs> after this. Because after this, we'll be back to Manila. We'll be back to a different uh, city. After that, 37 minute of 34 minute affair rather 25 23 the cream line crew smashers needed 32 minutes in the second set to end it 25 to 21 again PLDP displayed their grit in the middle portion of set number two but again they had a lot of miscommunication errors uh, which led them to that loss in set number two let's take a look at our set two highlights Exactly, in that uh, second set, another uh, showdown against Erika Santos and uh, Michelle Gumaba, the two top attackers, so, spikers so far this conference. But you know, Kareem Line really stayed consistent in that set. They were more cohesive. Ella De Jesus and Kyle Atienza also very reliable in the floor defense. They're marking the right angles in the offense of the PLDT high speed hitters as we see a big disparity in the attack point 17 for Creamline against the 9 of uh, PLDT but PLDT playing better in blocking with 7 against the 2 of a Creamline both teams with one ace apiece and both teams actually limiting their errors of only 5 for PLDT and only 4 for Creamline so it was just a matter of consistency and you know producing points as really the disparity is big in the attack points between two teams PLDT only scored 9 attack points as you mentioned earlier but uh, good thing about high speed hitters they had the immediate adjustments mm -hmm. from set number one. Zero blocks, mm -hmm. but they came up big with seven kill blocks in a set number two. Now in set number three, iba na naman yung kailangan nilang i-adjust because uh, Cream Line is one set away from extending their dominant winning streak here in the All Filipino Conference of our PVL. And uh, for uh, PLDT, uh, they really need to play consistent and avoid the miscues, especially in the end stretch of the set. Because they would work hard for the entire set, but then, you know, uh, the miscues happen towards the end, and it's going to be very painful for them. As uh, Erika Santos continues to produce points for the PLDT high speed hitters. That is a pleasant change in uh, the choice of attack galing dito sa PLDT kanina pa natin nakikita si Erika Santos from the right kaya di makulangan changing things up setting that differential play from the middle oh, but a double contact called on Kyle Negrito Early two-point lead for the high-speed hitters here in the third frame. Uh, Fiola Ceballos also has been uh, good, especially for the floor defense of PLDT. Oh, <laughs> extra hit on that hit from Savannah Davison. And it looks like it's the comfortable angle for Davison. She's been going to that the same spot all throughout this game. Perfect pass from Atienza. Combination play. Papunta kay Gemma Galanza sa gitna ulit. Oh, that was read well by PLDT. Uh, two blockers jumped with Gemma Galanza. But the loose block, the late block, just in a split second allowed Gemma Galanza to get that point. With that, uh, back to back points for Gemma Galanza. A great show of ball control there, going for the short serve. That was actually Davison's zone to guard. Uh, so we're seeing Catarado and Davison talking right now. Chang pass there for Davison. 
Makulanga will go to the right side to Erico Santos. A push there. We'll get PLDT their fourth point. And Erika Santos continues to be effective for PLDT right now. Just a soft touch. But they still found a hole in the floor defense of the Cool Smashers. Out of system play this time for the Cool Smashers. Eliza Valdez far from the net. That cut shot uh, is outside for Erika Santos. She wanted to go to zone two. But too much angle for her. Outside, Kampans Panaga. PLDT really needs to capitalize on uh, the errors of Creamline. Sometimes they become error prone. That is your signal to actually attack and get consecutive points. Exactly, and try to keep the ball on your side of the court. Chance ball for the high speed hitters. <sighs> no, and this is what we've been looking for. The activation of Adel Palomata, definitely she has the height and length advantage. A better execution this time in the middle for the PLDT. Now PLDT is starting to attack Eliza Valdez on the receive. <laughs> it is outside. Says the first referee, the point will be awarded to the high-speed hitters. There was a no-check ball, but Coach Sherwin will call for time. Watch the PVA 3x3 second conference this year every Monday and Tuesday only on One Sports, PBA Rush, and Pilipinas Live. PBA 3x3, lakas ng tatlo. Now, PLDP is enjoying a four point lead, but the bigger question is can they take care of that amount of a lead? Now starting to get consecutive points from the middle. Sometimes that's also a good strategy na straight up, kahit na mabasa no cream line na ibibigay kay Del Palomata, as long as the set is high enough exactly. for her to go above the blockers, that should be a good ball for PLDT. Uh, clearly uh, overreaching there by uh, Davison. And this is why also, talking about Del Palomata, the PLDT high-speed hitters need a really good first ball because earlier, uh, Creamline is really challenging uh, their passing. Davison, <laughs> but Palomata gets checked. Ball is still alive. Gumaba will set up Eliza Valdez. Those are split-second decisions. She saw Rea de Makulangan let go of the block. Exactly. Cut shot there. A targeting that zone. Grabe yung spin, no? Exactly. <laughs> ganda ng Not spin the usual replay. cut shot that we see. Ooh. Ooh, great dig by Ella de Jesus. Chance ball. Arado will pick up that pass. One-two play from Dimakulangar will not work. Liza Valdez losing her balance there. Savannah Davison oh. gets checked. Ooh. Michelle Gumabao from the back row. 
Erika Santos will set up Fiola Ceballos from the back. The rally continues. Negrito to Eliza Valdez. Pancake save from Kat Arado. One good play there by Kyle Negrito. <laughs> that was a uh, long, long rally. A uh, display of endurance by both teams, but uh, uh, Kyle Negrito starting to show also that she can be aggressive in offense. Slowly but surely, Creamline regaining control here in the third set. Just two points down. Uh, this time, uh, Davison uh, choosing Cal Negrito, seeing that Cal Negrito was uh, late in going for the block, maximizing that loose block. Bagay na bagay si Davison dito, no? Saktong sakto yung monitor. He's really a high-speed hitter. <laughs> Liceable death of that shoot set from Negrito. Davison from the back. One to play for the Makulangan. No go. Eliza Valdez on the left. Viola Ceballos will push that ball over. Rally continues. Savannah Davison from the back. Here at the Makulangan uh, going to uh, different attackers in the previous sequence, but a lack of risk action there by Davison gives Creamline a free point. Parang nagdalawang isip din si Savannah Davison on that hit. Not a good pass there from PLDT. Another error. She's been trying to go to zone one. But again, too wide for her. Uh, the three points given by PLDT to Creamline here. PLDT needs to start with a pass. Oh. Nila, kailan pumasa. <laughs> <laughs> or a free point from the Creamline Cool Smashers. But they have to make sure here that uh, they stay consistent on the service line. It was a four-point lead earlier, but the string of errors on the side of PLDT led to this. Uh, I'm sorry, no more deadlock. We changed the score. It's 10 serving eight. Talking about consistency, another free point given away by PLDT high-speed hitters. And the, this is important for PLDT to stay consistent because they also need to produce their own points as uh, there was a big disparity in the attack points between uh, Creamline and PLDT. But uh, this time, uh, service is by uh, Sato. Uh, another miscue between Davison and Sibalios. Target is uh, now on Davis on Mika Reyes. Uh, try to score off that A kick. Well, that was a great set from Dimakulangan, but another attack error on the side of uh, PLDT. Now, Creamline is up by a single point after being down by four. Well, as Ballos will get one back for the high speed hitters. A much needed point for them, especially for their confidence in terms of offense. Using that uh, right hand of the Grito. Overpass from Eliza Valdez. Cut shot there from Gemma Galanza. But it will be a double contact violation called on Kat Arado. Also, a lot of errors here on the side of uh, PLDT. Uh, they need to find a way to find their flow back as they started strong in the set. They need to get out of this rotation. They've been having a difficult time in passing. Chance ball there for the high-speed hitters. A push from Erika Santos. Power hit 
from Michelle Gumabao. One more time for MG. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, the patience and the coverage of a cream line works for them. Kapanaga there with a the perfect placement. As they lead, cream line leads here in the first technical timeout. Get access to the second All-Filipino Conference of the Premier Volleyball League live and in HD on One Sports Plus, plus more premium channels for the whole family when you switch to Signal Postpaid. Subscribe to Plan 520 and enjoy three free months with no cash out. Call 88555 or visit your nearest Signal dealer. A while ago, we asked our Filipinas poll question of the game and the question was which setter will make the most strategic plays? Rhea De Makulangan or Kyle Negrito of the Creamline Pool Smash? Yeah, and uh, so far, Rhea De Makulangan with uh, nine excellent sets. We're seeing a lot of uh, simple plays from her, but yet effective. Uh, meanwhile, we have uh, Kyle Negrito also with nine excellent sets. Again, uh, banking on their system of fast, low sets. In terms of numbers, pantay na pantay tayo in uh, that matchup. But in terms of uh, the set scores, lamang pa ang cream line ngayon. Two sets to none against the high-speed hitters. The Makulangan will choose Erika Santos. Negrito will go to Michelle Gumabao. It's a battle of the opposite hitters in this rally. Pangs Panaga will go for that quick attack. Viola Ceballos will not be able to control that dig. Three-point lead for the Cool Smashers. And uh, Kyle Negrito has been excellent so far in terms of uh, playmaking, activating everyone, getting everyone involved in terms of scoring. Davison with a better pass. <laughs> She's been asking for a consistent pass. Exactly. Because uh, she also has a lot of weapons, but uh, she just needs that to be able to give them the right uh, ball, the right height and speed for them to be effective. Talking about uh, being effective. Impact exactly. play. Always going, this is always going to be an impact play. You mga combination play sa gitna ng cream line. They've uh, ran that so many times here in the preliminary round of the PVL. Out of system play there for the Cool Smashers. <laughs> Gemma Galanza. Again. And Kanina, we were pointing out that she was very quiet, but now you're heading to the last part, potentially, of the third frame, and she's been uh, 
very busy in scoring the points for the Cool Smashers. Let's listen to this timeout. Streamline Coast Masters uh, controlling the game right now. Uh, pressure moments here for the PLDT high speed hitters. Short ball this time. Oh, and uh, the blocking. Of the cool smashers right on time for that Erika Santos hit. You know, and uh, with uh, only Erika Santos contributing points right now, PLDT becomes so predictable in terms of offense. One hand save from Jenna Galanza. Uh, miscue between Eliza Valdez and Kyle Negrito. That was a set -a ball mm -hmm. dig from uh, Galanza. They still have a four-point lead. Uh, still a comfortable position for the Creamline Cool Smashers. <laughs> Negrito will go to Eliza Valdez, blocked by uh, Del Palomata. Oh, Michelle <laughs> Gumabao just having a field day. Still very effective. Exactly. That, that's why she is the number one attacker in the league right now. Yung defensa ng PLDT medyo bumagal in that last sequence. No one even moved exactly. or went for an attempt. Uh, they really let that ball go, but it hit zone one. Davison with that sharp cross, all familiar, but this time it will not go over. The lead has now ballooned to six points. The Cool Smashers inching closer to their seventh straight win here in the All Filipino Conference. And you've mentioned that earlier, Neil, PLDT has slowed down in this set, especially in their defense. The model is doing everything <laughs> for the cool smashers, getting a lot of attack points in, getting good defensive touches, skill blocks. And again, PLDT continues to be predictable here. And uh, this is what they need again. It worked in the start of the set, the activation of. Del Palomata, again, she has the height and length advantage. Oh, but again, a big gap to close here for uh, the PLDT high-speed hitters. Mabao will get checked by the defense of Davison and Palomata. And the PLDT here slowly starting to gain some momentum back on their side. Lisa Sato. Del Palomata with her own version of a quick attack. So Gumabao, but Kat Arado was there. Facet to Eliza Valdez. This ball is still alive. Great save by Kat Arado. Free ball for the Cool Smashers. Negrito will choose Eliza Valdez from the middle. Hustle there from uh, PLDT. Negrito will choose Michelle Gumaba. Hot hand. Oh, and, uh, Michelle Gumaba continues to dominate oh, in the offense department. Again, you can't leave one blocker in front of uh, Michelle Gumabao. The cross-court attack 
that's one of her strengths. And a great serve too against uh, Michelle Morente. Ceballos will put that ball over. One, two, play. Pero mahaba na si Del Palomata. Naabot. Negrito will choose Eliza Valdez from the left. Deflected by the double block of PLDT. Transition play. Quick attack for Del Palomata. And PLDT connects. When you take a look at the percentage of conversion dito sa PLDT, mataas naman eh pagdating sa quick attacks. But uh, we're seeing Kat Arado. She's having a difficult time to breathe now. She, she's just leaving everything <laughs> on the floor right now, chasing after every ball. Kung kakayanin nga, kukunin niya lahat ng first balls eh. She has been very steady in that floor defense of the high-speed hitters. Kyle Negrito, back to Eliza Valdez. But, uh, too much power and speed there from Eliza Valdez. Another great set from Kyle Negrito there. But what a finish by Valdez, avoiding the blockers, the going sharp cross. Viola Ceballos, and a powerful hit. Michelle Gumabo this time from the back row. Kat Arado will give it back to Viola. Lisa Sato getting a soft touch against Del Palomata. Oh! PLDT had a chance to set up their defense. They knew that it was going to be an out-of-system play for the Creamline Cool Smashers, but nobody moved for that first ball. Liza Valdez uh, with a one-handed save there. Kat Arado will pick this ball up. Del Palomata gets blocked, but it's out of bounds. And uh, right now, the cream line for Smashers is just uh, two points away, but a chance here for uh, PLDT. Cream line just two points away from uh, ending this in three straight sets. Who shall serve here? Chased down by the Makulangan. Blockers were there for cream line. Negrito will choose Risa Sato on that short slide. Gemma Galanza with a whip. Ball is still alive. Yale Ceballos will give a free ball to the Cool Smashers. Negrito will choose Risa Sato. But that was too soft. <laughs> well, there was also a hesitation in that approach of uh, Sato. Uh, still a chance here for the high-speed hitters to close this uh, five-point gap. Jesse De Leon uh, with a good serve. Gemma Galanza with a perfect down-the-line hit. And that will bring Creamline into their first match point here in Cagayan de Oro City. Now that fast, low set again and again. But uh, again, Gemma Galanza just uh, being clean, athletic with a down-the-line attack. Three ball for the cool smashers and <laughs> loose ball will be a point for the high seed hitters. Almost another miscue there. Oh, but great ball control by Mika Reyes. Keeps them alive in the set. Five match points for Greenline.
Tight pass from Eliza Valdez. A great save there from uh, Kat Arado. Side attacker Pangs Panaga. Checked by the defense of Ceballos. Gemma Galanza. Another chance for Gemma Galanza to get this point. Ball is still alive. The Grito will go to Galanza once again. And uh, the cream light to its smashers will get win number seven. And Gemma Galanza, explosive approach, going down the line again. And takes that last point for the cream line tool smashers. Cream line needed uh, that first set to settle down. It was a very tight opening frame, but in the second and the third, uh, they showed everybody why they are the number one team here in the, the league. They didn't need Tots Carlos in the starting unit because Eliza Valdez was just on point today. Great support from the other teammates. A well-deserved win for the Cream Line Cool Smashers. We'll be back with our best player of the game. Relive this game and all PBL games anytime, anywhere on the Filipinas Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos only. This is the confirmation of the win of the Cream Line Cool Smashers 25-23, 25-21, and 25-19. Ayel, we are here with uh, hindi lang isang player. We have three players with us. We have our player of the game, Eliza Valdez. But we are also joined by Gemma Galanza and Mika Reyes. No, first of all, congratulations to Greenline Coast Smashers. Congratulations to PLDT also for that great fight. But um, Atelai, the first set was anybody set. It was a close fight. What were the necessary adjustments you made and what was your mindset going into the next set? 
Oh wow, uh, definitely, nag-training din kami this morning, little adjustments talaga yung nag-work in today's game. All the necessary things that uh, sasabihin ni Coach na pag nag-free ball kayo, dito nyo dadalhin, ito yung mga adjustments na gagawin natin. Sinunod lang namin sila, so talagang we're very grateful for our coaches sa uh, patuloy na pag-remind sa amin all throughout the game. Eliza, in the first few games, you didn't start para sa cream line, but you were waiting for your chance to shine again. And he witnessed the Phenom's flight into today dito sa Cagayan de Oro. What was your mindset heading into the game? Alam mo ba na ikaw yung gagamitin ni Coach Sherwin? Uh, honestly, uh, we're very happy kung sino pinapalaro ng mga coaches namin. And I think it's a very long uh, si conference for the, uh, the whole team and the whole, the whole tournament. But yung mindset ko, kung pag pinaglaro, I think I have to know my role and I have to contribute to the team. And sinuportan talaga ako ng teammates ko and coaches ko. So I'm very, very happy and thankful for, uh, for them. That's why you deserve the, this win today. It was really a team effort for the Creamline Cool Smashers. And now, again, kasama natin si Gemma Galanza and Mika Reyes, two of our fan favorites. And we will allow them to actually uh, greet their fans here in Cagayan de Oro City and their fans at home. Gemma, go ahead. Well, uh, maayong, maayong gabi sa inyong tanahan! Yes! Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng no nanood ngayong gabi. Wala pa kong marinig sa sobrang grabe kayong mag-cheer para sa amin. Actually, sa dalawang team talaga. So, maraming maraming salamat po and magkita-kita po po tayo sa mga susunod na games namin. Thank you po! Ingat! Thank you so much, Gemma Galanza. Napunta naman tayo kay Mika Reyes. Well-fought match for the high-speed hitters. So, we'll give the floor for you para mabati mo din yung mga supporters. Thank you so much sa lahat po ng mga pumunta dito. At nag-effort po talaga na manood po ng live. Maraming maraming salamat po in, in behalf of PLDT and Greenland and of course all of the teams in the PBL. So, salamat po. Thank you so much, Aliza, Gemma, and uh, Mika. And ngayon, I guess it's picture taking with uh, the fans. And uh, that was your player of the game, Aliza Valdez. And let's take a look at our final highlights, Ayel, as we wrap this game up. It was truly a hard-fought match. Win number seven for the Creamline Cool Smashers. PLDT put up a really good fight, especially in set number one, 25 to 23. And we know na makakabawi din yung high-speed hitters. But for now, that is win number seven for the Cool Smashers. Oh, exactly. You know, it was anybody's game. Both teams really tried to extend, really tried to rally. Great floor defense for both teams, but it really boiled down to the smallest of details and cream line, just staying consistent all throughout the game. An all-around game for all the players of the cool, um, cream line to smash it, but for the PLDD high-speed hitters, you know, Erika Santos really tried to step up, but then uh, Davison also and Del Palomata contributed. But it was just a difficult day as a Creamline Cool Smasher. So it was a very cohesive, especially in executing their system and game plan. Truly a well-fought match in today's game. We'll check the numbers later on. We know that Creamline dominated the attacking department, as you can see. But defense-wise, I guess that PLDT also did a really good job. No, but in terms of service aces, uh, Creamline has two more with four against the two of the high-speed hitters. And uh, PLDT also, again, a lot of miscues and um, a lot of errors with uh, 21 against the 17 of uh, the Creamline Cool Smashers. Now we're done here in Cagayan de Oro City, pero marami pa tayong games here in uh, the PBL because... For our upcoming games, it will be on November 21, Tuesday. Balik po tayo sa Phil Sports Arena in Pasig City. We have the Petrogas Angels versus the Farm Fish Proxies at 2 p.m. Signal HD taking on Cherry Tigo at 4 p.m. And Choco Mucho going up against Dev2 Logistics Cargo Movers at 6 p.m. On behalf of my partner, Ayel Estraniero, our director, Chris Pangan, our game producer, Carlo Grau, and all of the hard-working men and women behind the production team. This has been Neil Flores saying thank you and good night, Cagayan de Oro City. This has been the PVL, the heart of volleyball.